Today we'll be talking about PBW, also known as Invesco Wilder Hill Clean Energy ETF. So I'll go over this ETF, talk about what it's all about, is it good value, how many holdings, how diversified is it, all that stuff will be covered today. First of all, PBW is highly diverse in scope, reaching beyond just industry pure plays like wind, solar, biofuel and geothermal companies to include companies based on their perceived relevance to the renewable energy space. First of all, PBW holds 73 stocks. And if you are like normally investing in uh, S&P 500, stuff like that has 500 companies, you might not think that that is a lot, but it's actually like just a bit higher than most other clean energy ETFs. The thing about this ETF that actually makes it stand out a lot and makes it a lot more diversified is that the top 10 holdings is only 19, um, 19 almost 20 percent of the entire portfolio that is usually a lot higher with most of these uh, etfs so you can see a lot of companies that you might not have heard of before you can see inviox uh, corporation some material lithium standard lithium so the top 10 holdings are just a lot of companies that you might not have heard of maybe you've heard of tesla probably you've heard of tesla um and they're all really small holdings, like 2% and 1%. That is, yeah, that's very small for this uh, for this sector, basically. If you're looking at like the S&P, I don't know the top holdings, but it's more than this, I can tell you. Moving on to the top 10 sectors that this ETF is in, you can see we have renewable energy, 70, uh, 26%. We have auto and truck manufacturers, and uh, yeah, I can't see what it stands there, but construction and electricity something so basically when it comes to the sectors they're pretty well diversified one thing that makes this etf stand out also is that they are very very well diversified in basically everything except uh, geographics so you can see the top 10 sectors also very well diversified we have like five percent here in the top three and this is not even that high 26 at the first place so yeah very well diversified with with stocks and uh, sectors the top uh, countries, which is the geographics, is obviously a lot uh, more weighted in just the United States. It is only United States listed um, companies that they invest in. And you can see, of obviously, Canada and China, like every single clean energy ETF. And um, so that is pretty much very standard. But if you look at like kind of some of the ratings that this ETF gets, you can see that they have an overweight of low size, uh, you know, smaller companies. Um, that is apparently what banks say. Momentum, uh, rising stocks, not going too well for them. You can see the stock price in a minute. Uh, and low volatility, they're pretty volatile. And also something very important is the expense ratio. And you can see right here, it's 0.61%. That is high, that is high. And there's just really not um, any way around it. You can see uh, Invesco's other ETF is has an even higher expense ratio. So pay that amount every single year of your investment. And that can cut into your investment, especially if you can see the stock price has been going down recently, if you buy like, right now, and the ETF doesn't really go up, then that um, expense ratio can cut into your uh, may maybe small percent wise gain. So you can also see if we take like 2020 to the peak, it grew like 250, 280%, but it has now collided a bit, 40% down and kind of traded sideways uh, for a bit. So again, you're buying this ETF for the long run. Don't buy this for some short term gains. When you're thinking about this sector, like the clean energy sector, you're not thinking about like the next half a year because we're not going to get there in the next half a year. It's going to take like maybe a decade from now Imagine where this fund could be a decade from now, right? Uh, imagine the amount of growth we saw just in like one year, we saw 280%, right? Imagine the amount of growth 10 years from now, when we have, of, of course, there's going to be volatility and that just gives you more opportunities uh, to buy in. So that is my opinion about this. But more things we have to look at, the average 10 year return is 13.62%. And if you had invested 10K 10 years ago, that money would now be worth $21,000, which is a doubling of your money. So that's pretty good. But compared to like, compared to the S&P, it's not that much greater compared to like the amount of risk 
you actually take with an ETF like this because it's high growth stocks that are a lot more volatile. The dividends of this ETF is 1%, which is not that high because these, especially when they're smaller companies, they maybe don't want to pay out a lot of their capital uh, to investors at the moment. But in the future, I expect that to rise when this sector gets more out there and it's, it becomes more normal to invest in uh, the renewable energy sector. The expense ratio, we talked about that, that is pretty high on this ETF. Um, it is hard to find these clean energy ETFs with low expense ratios. They often have high expense ratios. And one thing that you can do if you don't want to pay that is go out yourself, try and find some, uh, go, go out yourself, try and find some companies, maybe take some uh, from the portfolio. You can go in, you can see here's some of the top 10 holdings. You can take some of these and invest in um, the ones that you find most attractive invest uh, in them and like make a little portfolio of like five or 10 stocks that is also pretty diversified and then you don't have to pay that uh, yearly expense ratio which is pretty high so that's another way to go about it but this fund looks pretty good and it's set up for some nice growth um, over the coming years but if you're looking at investing your money in these kind of ETFs clean energy then go ahead and click on the video up here in the corner because in that video I go over another ETF called QCLN I do it in the same way uh, as with this one and that one has had some uh, much higher growth levels over the like past 10 years so maybe go ahead and check that out if you're looking to invest your money definitely do your research and with that said have a great rest of your day Peace out.